Hi there, this is Thomas from Investment Excel. Welcome to this session where we will focus on the Vatashek model, the Vatashek dynamics, and how it is uh, applied to pricing of zero bonds. If the black and gold model was revolutionary within pricing of stock options, then the Vatashek model uh, and uh, the way you price zero bonds was revolutionary within interest rates. We will look at the Vatichek uh, path of interest rates. We will look at how it governs the entire term structure. And we will look at some features of the statistical distributions of the Vatichek model. All right, this video and the Excel workbook and the underlying code in VBA are available on investmentexcel.com and also on spotafile.com. Let's just look at the stochastic dynamics of the Vatichek model. First, the Vatichek model is an interest rate model. It's a one-factor model with what we call a Markov property. That means that all information needed for future distributions of the short rate is captured by the information in the current and observed interest rate. The original model, the original stoch uh, stochastic model, is described here in the first uh, row. A stochastic differential equation characterized by a mean reverting drift on the left hand side of the DT. So, in this stochastic setting, we will never see the the rates in the future drift too much uh, ahead or below uh, the mean reverting level which is specified x ante and it's the parameter b and the factor a here is the speed of the mean reversion so whenever there is a difference between b and the predicted rate in the future then there is like a physical law in in the process that makes the predicted rate get closer to the mean reverting level. On the other, on the right hand side, we have the diffusion process uh, or the stochastic part uh, of the process. This process is what we normally call a mark. Uh, a Vatichek process, but actually it's not Markovic's uh, contribution, it's uh, Ornstein Uhlenbeck, but because uh, the Vatichek model has become so so famous and seminal, this has been associated with uh, with Vatichek himself. We can solve easily this SDE, and it takes this form. So future levels of the short interest rate is a um, is a uh, normal distributed um, uh, model. So we see here the the drift and stochastic element on the right hand side. Equally easily, we can calculate the two moments for the normal distribution, the mean here, and as we can see. The mean is only conditional on the current observed rate R zero, so no RTs in in this uh, in this setting. So, in principle, it is a conditional uh, mean because it's conditional on the observed rate today, but in practice, it's an unconditional model. And here we have the variance; we have not even uh, an 
are zero. So it's quite easy to, to calculate. We just need the, the input for the parameters. I have them up here. The convergence A, the mean reverting level, the volatility and the initial rate from where we kick off the stochastic process. And I will turn later to market risk premium. But this is the mean reversion and the stochastic framework has the feature that in the long run the rate will uh, settle at this level at 4% and this can be seen from the expected level or the expected uh, or the mean in, in a future distribution so if we take for uh, t going to infinity this little uh, expression drops out and this drops out on the left hand side so leaving us just the b so the the expected long term value is the the mean reverting level okay then let's just try to to simulate the the Vatacek model over 10 years with uh, four T steps, so four quarterly steps. For each step, I calculate an expected value from the expected value uh, formula, and I calculate the variance, square root it, and, and get the standard deviation. So again, and all we need are just the input parameters and the time. Having that, what we need is to invert the normal distribution from which future short rates are taken from and we do that by Excel's norm inversion and we have Excel draw randomly in this di distribution with the two moments, the mean and the standard deviation and we get a random or at least random in a normal distribution uh, context for for each day in the future so this is one simulated path and just to to be sure this is the exact Vatichek path many practitioners they uh, discretize the, the Vatichek process but actually um, it's not really uh, the best way to do it because we have the exact solution so we don't need to offer uh, any information in the uh, uh, discretized version all right so this is path and you can see it up here we start from free and we go up and down I will just type F9 to activate the the run function the random function in Excel so we generate one new path so we can see the dynamics and perhaps it's possible to see that it never drifts too far away from the long run average of three percent or sorry four percent but there is one feature by the Vatican model that I would like to show you and that is that because that short rates in the future are normally distributed there is a probability uh, slightly slightly lower than 50 percent that we will get negative rates uh, in order to see that I will just type in a higher volatility to to get the swings more powerful so we'll see again if we should not get down negative territory we see that many times and this is the biggest drawback of the Vatichik model that we will have in uh, negative rates or can have negative rates in the future even though we will we will be on a mean reverting uh, path on average we can still uh, circle around or drift around uh, and down into uh, the negative territory but on contrary to a normal random uh, walk this process is stationary around the four percent so we don't see an explosion in the rate the uh, one way or another there is a pulling force 
or uh, or a pushing force or whatever you like, gravity, so that we will never drift too far away. All right. This was this is the stochastic setting of Vatichek, and he used that to calculate a bond price for the entire yield curve. So let's just look at uh, let's just look at this nasty formula here, because this is this is Vatichek's contribution on on uh, on this process here on this uh, uh, this stochastic uh, uh, equation, which we call the Ornstein Uhlenbeck process. That there is a closed form solution for the yield or for the bond. Uh, price of zero coupons on all uh, maturities and on all future dates, all governed by just one formula. It's an ugly formula, and it stems originally from uh, a a work with a partial differential equation and some no arbitrage arguments very much equivalent to those that Black and Scholes they they use to come up with their famous Black and Scholes formula, closed form solution for for pricing of European coal and put options. Same principles, just with one smaller uh, with one small uh, difference, which is that uh, the pricing formula for zero coupon bonds includes a market risk premium. And this market risk premium is also what we call the sharp ratio and this is not included in the call option and the reason for that is that we cannot use the same replicating uh, arguments as uh, in the bond pricing formulas that we can do that, we, that black and scholes did in their work with the with the stock call options but here just based on the short rate at time t, say today at time zero, then we can calculate all yield all yields along the term structure of zero coupons. And obviously, as we go down in time, uh, it will just be dependent on the rate, the short rate at that time. And here, I have calculated for one year ahead. So the first one, the first maturity here, it will be 0 0.1 and then with input the short rate which is 2% at that time and we will see that I can calculate all yields and I will just make the volatility somewhat lower just to avoid the negative rates right now. So if we look at, at this process we will see the short rate process here and the blue the blue dot marks the one year short rate at two percent and over here we have the corresponding yield curve one year ahead and the same I have done with two year ahead we calculate all yields on that day and we get the yellow the yellow term structure up here and then please note in this framework even though we are at time one when you type in the formula here it's not one here this left hand side of the yield rt big t is is the is the term structure so the, the t here is not the same as the small t up here so even if we are at time t here we have r1 here but calculating this say the, the two year zero coupon bond two, two year zero coupon yield at this time we have r0.2 equals to r infinity and then R2 up here. And let's just activate the RAND function to see the dynamics. 
and we see how it works. So just with with one short rate, one model with prediction capability of the short rate, we can create the entire term structure on every future day and of course also all forward uh, prices. Indeed this formula here is also a forward pricing uh, formula. So if we for instance like today to have the the, the 3.4 uh, one year the one year bond three years ahead it will say R 3.4 I'm just type in here and still with the R little T here with the short rate today. There is one drawback further about the the Vatichik model and that is that all yields are perfectly correlated due to the feature of the yields being dependent only on one uh, on one short rate and the, this I could show it down here but I'll just uh, tell how it works if we differentiate the yield with respect to the RT it leaves us with a linear uh, function of RT so so all all changes in yields along the curve are perfectly correlated which of course is not uh, aligned with what uh, happens in in reality in the market okay the video is getting a little bit long now but uh, but you can try to test that for yourself down here I'll just written down the table so you can test the correlation and, and how it works just shift shift up and down the, the yield curve at a given time and you will see that the changes along the curve are exactly the same whether we go from 2 to 3 or 3 to 4 or 4 to 5 it's still uh, it's still a linear relationship all right that was just some Batichek basic theory and application thank you very much